This is Cornelius and Sumaya. This is our project. This is our code for our project. We're just going to run the server real quick to show you what our project looks like. So um, the idea for our project was like Kahoot's. That was his inspiration for what we are trying to do. Hold on. So the name of, of our app is called Quizme. As you can see, we have a vision statement. Like most quizzes, you can check out some quizzes. And we we also have a login and sign up option. So we're just gonna log in into a user. Let's see. That's it. So once we click on a username. It says I Samaya. You can see a little bit of profile and all the quizzes that you have taken. If we click on one of those, you can see the result of your quiz that was previously taken. It shows you the one you got wrong and the total score that you have. We can if we if we go back, we can also check out another quiz to see if we got any score. As, as you can see. Each each point is ten points, so it gives like a total of points that you have at the top. And another option is you can create a quiz. If there's no quiz that you want to take, you can go ahead and create a quiz for other people to take. And you can add like a profile photo to represent the quiz that you that you want to take. And it gives you the description of the quiz and the title, so you can create a new question. Click. Type in the question that you want to create. You can type in the answer for that question. You, you, can, you can type in the title of the question and title of the and the, the question text. Save it. So how are you? You can have a title for an answer. Put in the answer that you want for that particular question. And I want the amount of points each question is. Can save it and you can go on the click click results you want to see like a total result of each quiz that you've taken that will give you an idea of the quiz you've taken and the score that you have and if we go back to the home page as you can see your name is still there our, our vision mission I mean, just like our code looks, but and also the quiz that you created is included to the main page, so you can go on it and check it out. See, this is a new quiz that we created it previously, it's already saved on it. And if you log out, you can see we're back to our own page, and here is the code. That we use. As you can see, we use Bootstrap to get the template for our front end, and it was actually one of the most challenging part of the project to how to manipulate Bootstrap and include that with what we have already with Ruby on Rails. I think we have about five or six models for this project. About five or six models for this So we had to find a way to make sure they all relate. Just gonna stop the server for now. As you can see, uh, we show you what our models look like. As you can see we have one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five models. We have a model for participants. Model for question, model for quiz, a model for results, and model for users. So we had we had, we had to find a way to make sure they all link and connect. I think thank you for watching the video. I think this is what we have so far.